In calculus, Taylor's theorem gives an approximation of a k times differentiable function around a given point by a kth order Taylor polynomial. For analytic functions the Taylor polynomials at a given point are finite order truncations of its Taylor series, which completely determines the function in some neighborhood of the point. It can be thought of as the extension of linear approximation to higher order polynomials, and in the case of k equals 2 is often referred to as a quadratic approximation. The exact content of Taylor's theorem is not universally agreed upon. Indeed, there are several versions of it applicable in different situations, and some of them contain explicit estimates on the approximation error of the function by its Taylor polynomial. Taylor's theorem is named after the mathematician Brooke Taylor, who stated a version of it in 1712. Yet an explicit expression of the error was not provided until much later on by Joseph Louis Lagrange. An earlier version of the result was already mentioned in 1671 by James Gregory. Taylor's theorem is taught in introductory level calculus courses and is one of the central elementary tools in mathematical analysis. Within pure mathematics, it is the starting point of more advanced asymptotic analysis and is commonly used in more applied fields of numerics, as well as in mathematical physics. Taylor's theorem also generalizes to multivariate and vector valued functions f r n r m display style f colon math b r caret n to math b r caret m on any dimensions n and m this generalization of Taylor's theorem is the basis for the definition of so-called jets, which appear in differential geometry and partial differential equations. Motivation <inaudible> 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 If a real valued function f is differentiable at the point a then it has a linear approximation at the point a. This means that there exists a function h1 such that f x equals f a plus f a x minus plus h 1 x x minus a lim x a h 1 x equals 0 Display style f x equals f a plus f a x a plus h underscore one x x a quad lim underscore x to a h underscore one x equals zero. Here p one x equals f a plus f a x minus a display style p underscore one x equals f a plus f a x a is the linear approximation of f at the point a. The graph of y. Topic. P1 x is the tangent line to the graph of f at x. A. The error in the approximation is r 1 x equals f x minus p 1 x equals h 
1 x x minus a Display style R underscore one x equals F x P underscore one x equals H underscore one x x A. Note that this goes to zero a little bit faster than x minus a as x tends to A, given the limiting behavior of H one. If we wanted a better approximation to F, we might instead try a quadratic polynomial instead of a linear function. Instead of just matching one derivative of f at a, we can match two derivatives, thus producing a polynomial that has the same slope and concavity as f at a. The quadratic polynomial in question is p 2 x equals f a plus f a x minus a plus f a 2 x minus a 2 Display style p underscore two x equals f a plus f a x a plus frac f a two x a caret two. Taylor's theorem ensures that the quadratic approximation is, in a sufficiently small neighborhood of the point a, a better approximation than the linear approximation. Specifically, f x equals p 2 x plus h 2 x x minus a 2 lim x a h 2 x equals zero display style f x equals p underscore two x plus h underscore two x x a caret two quad lim underscore x to a h underscore two x equals zero. Here the error in the approximation is r two x equals F x minus P two x equals H two x x minus a two Display style R underscore two x equals F x P underscore two x equals H underscore two x x A carrot two which, given the limiting behavior of H two Displaystyle H underscore two goes to zero faster than x minus Two display style x a caret two as x tends to a. Similarly, we might get still better approximations to f if we use polynomials of higher degree, since then we can match even more derivatives with f at the selected base point. In general, the error in approximating a function by a polynomial of degree k will go to zero a little bit faster than x minus a k as x tends to a. But this might not always be the case. It is also possible that increasing the degree of the approximating polynomial does not increase the quality of approximation at all, even if the function f to be approximated is infinitely many times differentiable. 
An example of this behavior is given below, and it is related to the fact that unlike analytic functions, more general functions are not locally determined by the values of their derivatives at a single point. Taylor's theorem is of asymptotic nature, it only tells us that the error rk in an approximation by a kth order Taylor polynomial pk tends to zero faster than any non-zero kth degree polynomial as x a. It does not tell us how large the error is in any concrete neighborhood of the center of expansion, but for this purpose there are explicit formulae for the remainder term given below, which are valid under some additional regularity assumptions on f. These enhanced versions of Taylor's theorem typically lead to uniform estimates for the approximation error in a small neighborhood of the center of expansion, but the estimates do not necessarily hold for neighborhoods which are too large, even if the function f is analytic. In that situation one may have to select several Taylor polynomials with different centers of expansion to have reliable Taylor approximations of the original function see animation on the right. There are several things we might do with the remainder term. Estimate the error in using a polynomial p k x of degree k to estimate f x on a given interval a r a plus r. The interval and the degree k are fixed. We want to find the error. Find the smallest degree k for which the polynomial p k x approximates f x to within a given error or tolerance on a given interval a minus r a plus r. The interval and the error are fixed. We want to find the degree. Find the largest interval a minus r a plus r on which p k x approximates f x to within a given error tolerance. The degree and the error are fixed, we want to find the interval. <laughs> Taylor's theorem in one real variable <laughs> Statement of the theorem The precise statement of the most basic version of Taylor's theorem is as follows Taylor's theorem. Let k1 be an integer and let the function f, r r be k times differentiable at the point a element of r. Then there exists a function h k, r r such that f x equals f a plus f a x minus a plus f a 2 x minus a 2 plus plus f k a k x minus a k plus h k x x minus a k Display style f x equals f a plus f a x a plus frac f a two x a caret two plus c d o t s plus frac f caret k a k x a caret k plus h underscore k x x a caret k and lim x a H K X equals zero Display style M box and quad lim underscore X to A H underscore K X equals zero. This is called the Pino form of the remainder. 
The polynomial appearing in Taylor's theorem is the kth order Taylor polynomial p k x equals f a plus f a x minus a plus f a 2 x minus a 2 plus plus f k a k x minus a k Display style P underscore K x equals F A plus F A x A plus F R A C F A two x A carrot two plus C D O T S plus F R A C F carrot K A K x A carrot K of the function F at the point A. The Taylor polynomial is the unique asymptotic best fit polynomial in the sense that if there exists a function h k, r r and a k th order polynomial p such that f x equals p x plus h k x x minus a K lim x a h k x equals zero. Display style f x equals p x plus h underscore k x x a caret k quad lim underscore x to a h underscore k x equals zero. Then p equals p k. Taylor's theorem describes the asymptotic behavior of the remainder term r k x equals f x minus p k x. Display style r underscore k x equals f x p underscore k x, which is the approximation error when approximating f with its Taylor polynomial. Using the little o notation, the statement in Taylor's theorem reads as r k x equals o x minus a k x a display style r underscore k x equals o x a caret k quad x to a topic explicit formulas for the remainder Under stronger regularity assumptions on f there are several precise formulae for the remainder term r k of the Taylor polynomial, the most common ones being the following. Mean value forms of the remainder. Let f, r r be k plus 1 times differentiable on the open interval with f k continuous on the closed interval between a and x. Then r K x equals f k plus one she l k plus one x minus a k plus one 
Display style R underscore K x equals F R A C F carrot K plus one she underscore L K plus one x A carrot K plus one for some real number she L between A and X. This is the Lagrange form of the remainder. Similarly R K x equals F K plus one she C K X minus she C K X minus Display style R underscore K x equals F R A C F carrot K plus one she underscore C K x she underscore C carrot K x A for some real number she C between A and X. This is the Cauchy form of the remainder. These refinements of Taylor's theorem are usually proved using the mean value theorem, whence the name. Also other similar expressions can be found. For example, if g t is continuous on the closed interval and differentiable with a non-vanishing derivative on the open interval between a and x, then r k x equals f k plus 1 she k x minus she k g x minus g a g she Display style R underscore K x equals F R A C F carrot K plus one she K x she carrot K F R A C G x G A G she for some number she between a and x. This version covers the Lagrange and Cauchy forms of the remainder as special cases, and is proved below using Cauchy's mean value theorem. The statement for the integral form of the remainder is more advanced than the previous ones, and requires understanding of Lebesgue integration theory for the full generality. However, it holds also in the sense of Riemann integral provided the k plus 1 th derivative of f is continuous on the closed interval a, x. Integral form of the remainder let f k be absolutely continuous on the closed interval between a and x. Then r k x equals a x f k plus 1 t k x Minus T K D T Display style R underscore K x equals int underscore a carrot x F R A C F carrot K plus one T K x T carrot K D T Due to absolute continuity of f k on the closed interval between a and x, its derivative f k plus one exists as an L one function, and the result can be proven by a formal calculation using fundamental theorem of calculus and integration by parts. Topic estimates for the remainder It is often useful in practice to be able to estimate the remainder term appearing in the Taylor approximation, rather than having an exact formula for it. Suppose that f is k plus 1 times continuously differentiable in an interval i containing a. 
Suppose that there are real constants q and q such that q f k plus one x q display style q l e q f caret k plus one x l e q q throughout i. Then the remainder term satisfies the inequality q x minus a k plus one k plus one r k x q x minus a k plus one k plus one display style Q FRAC X A carrot K plus one K plus one L E Q R underscore K X L E Q Q FRAC X A carrot K plus one K plus one if X greater than A and a similar estimate if X in particular if F K plus one X M display style f caret k plus one x l e q m on an interval i equals a minus r a plus r with some r greater than zero display style r greater than zero then r k X M X minus A K plus one K plus one M R K plus one K plus one Display style R underscore K x L E Q M F R A C X A carrot K plus one K plus one L E Q M F R A C R carrot K plus one K plus one For all x element of a minus R A plus R the second inequality is called a uniform estimate because it holds uniformly for all x on the interval a minus r a plus r. Topic example. Suppose that we wish to approximate the function f x equals x on the interval minus one one while ensuring that the error in the approximation is no more than ten minus five. In this example, we pretend that we only know the following properties of the exponential function e zero equals one d D x e x equals e x e x greater than zero x element of R Display style asterisk q quad e caret zero equals one q quad frac d dx e caret x equals e caret x q quad e caret x greater than zero q quad x in math b r. From these properties, it follows that f k x. Topic x for all k and in particular fk 0 1 hence the kth order taylor polynomial of f at 0 and its remainder term in the lagrange form are given by p k x equals 1 plus x plus x 2 2 plus plus x k k r k x 
equals e she k plus 1 x k plus 1 Display style p underscore k x equals one plus x plus frac x caret two two plus c d o t s plus frac x caret k k q quad r underscore k x equals frac e caret she k plus one x caret k plus one, where she is some number between zero and x. Since x is increasing by asterisk, we can simply use x1 for x element of minus 1, 0 to estimate the remainder on the subinterval minus 1, 0. To obtain an upper bound for the remainder on 0, 1, we use the property E she E x equals 1 plus x plus E she 2 by 2 1 plus x plus E e x 2 by 2, 0 x 1 display style E caret x equals 1 plus x plus frac E caret she 2 x caret 2 using the second order Taylor expansion. Then we solve for x to deduce that e x one plus x one minus x two two equals two one plus x two minus x two four zero x one display style e caret x l e q frac one plus x one frac x caret two two equals two frac one plus x two x caret two l e q four q quad Quad zero leq x leq one simply by maximizing the numerator and minimizing the denominator. Combining these estimates for x, we see that r k x four x k plus one k plus one four k plus one minus one x one display style r underscore k x leq frac four x caret k plus one k plus one leq frac four k plus one q quad minus one leq x leq one so the required precision is certainly reached when 4 k plus 1 10 minus 5 4 10 5 k plus 1 k 9. Display style frac 4 k plus 1 c factorial or compute by hand the values 9 equals 362,880 and 10 equals 3,628,800. As a conclusion, Taylor's theorem leads to the approximation E x equals 1 plus x plus x 2 2, plus plus x 9 9, plus r 9 x, r 9 x, 10 minus 5, minus 1 x 1. Display style e caret x equals one plus x plus frac x caret two two plus c d o t s plus frac x caret nine nine plus r underscore nine x q quad r underscore nine x. For instance, this approximation provides a decimal expression e approximately equals two point seven one eight two eight. Correct up to five decimal places. Topic Relationship to analyticity Topic Taylor expansions of real analytic functions let IR be an open interval. By definition, a function f, IR is real analytic if it is locally defined by a convergent power series. This means that for every a element of i there exists some r greater than zero and a sequence of coefficients c k element of r such that a minus r a plus r i and f x equals k equals zero infinity c k x minus a k equals c zero plus c one x minus a plus c two x minus a two plus x minus a r display style f x 
equals sum underscore k equals zero carrot in a t c underscore k x a carrot k equals c underscore zero plus c underscore one x a plus c underscore two x a carrot two plus c d o t s q quad x a in general, the radius of convergence of a power series can be computed from the Cauchy Hadamard formula 1 R equals lim sup k infinity c k 1 k Display style frac one r equals limbs up underscore k to in a t c underscore k caret frac one k. This result is based on comparison with a geometric series, and the same method shows that if the power series based on a converges for some b element of R, it must converge uniformly on the closed interval a minus R b, a plus R b, where R b equals b minus a. Here only the convergence of the power series is considered, and it might well be that a minus r, a plus r extends beyond the domain I of F. The Taylor polynomials of the real analytic function F at a are simply the finite truncations P K X equals J equals Zero K C J X minus A J C J equals F J A J Display style p underscore k x equals sum underscore j equals zero carrot k c underscore j x a carrot j q quad c underscore j equals frac f carrot j a j of its locally defining power series, and the corresponding remainder terms are locally given by the analytic functions r. K x equals j equals k plus one infinity c j x minus a J equals x minus a k h k x x minus a r display style r underscore k x equals sum underscore j equals k plus one caret in a t c underscore j x a caret j equals x a caret k h underscore k x q quad x a here the functions h k a minus r a plus r r h k x equals x minus a j equals zero infinity c k plus one plus j x minus a j display style begin cases h underscore k sad face a r a plus r to math b f r h underscore k x equals x a sum underscore j equals zero Carrot in a t c underscore k plus one plus j x a carrot j end cases are also analytic since their defining power series have the same radius of convergence as the original series. Assuming that a minus r a plus r i and r. Topic. Taylor's theorem and convergence of Taylor series 
The Taylor series of f will converge in some interval, given that all its derivatives are bounded over it and do not grow too fast as k goes to infinity. However, it is not always the case that the Taylor series of f, if it converges, will in fact converge to f. As explained below, f is then said to be non analytic. One might think of the Taylor series f x approximately equals k equals 0 infinity c k x minus a k equals c 0 plus c 1 x minus a plus c 2 x minus a 2 plus Display style f x approximately sum underscore k equals zero carrot in a t c underscore k x a carrot k equals c underscore zero plus c underscore one x a plus c underscore two x a carrot two plus c d o t s of an infinitely many times differentiable function f r r as its infinite order Taylor polynomial at a. Now the estimates for the remainder imply that if, for any r, the derivatives of f are known to be bounded over a minus r, a plus r, then for any order k and for any r greater than zero there exists a constant m k, r greater than zero such that r k x m K R X minus A K plus one K plus one Display style asterisk quad R underscore K X Lexland M underscore K R F R A C X A carrot K plus one K plus one for every X element of a minus R A plus R Sometimes the constants m k r can be chosen in such way that m k r is bounded above for fixed R and all K then the Taylor series of f converges uniformly to some analytic function t f a minus r a plus r r t f x equals k equals zero infinity F K A K X minus A K Display style begin cases T underscore F sad face A R A plus R to Math B F R T underscore F X equals sum underscore K equals zero carrot in a T F R A C F carrot K A K X A carrot K end cases one also gets convergence even if m k r is not bounded above as long as it grows slowly enough. However, even though T f is always analytic, the case may be that f is not. That is to say, it may well be that an infinitely many times differentiable function f has a Taylor series at a which converges on some open neighborhood of a, but the limit function T f is different from f. 
An important example of this phenomenon is provided by f r r f x equals e minus one by two x greater than o o x zero. Display style begin cases f math b f r to math b f r f x equals begin cases e caret f r a c one x caret two and x greater than zero zero and x lexlant zero end cases end cases using the chain rule one can show by mathematical induction that for any ord er k f k x equals p k x x three k e minus one by two x greater than o o x zero display style f caret k x equals begin cases frac p underscore k x x caret three k c d o t e caret frac one x caret two and x greater than zero zero and x lex Plant zero end cases for some polynomial p k of degree two k minus one. The function e minus one x two display style e caret frac one x caret two tends to zero faster than any polynomial as x zero, so f is infinitely many times differentiable and f k zero equals zero for every positive integer k. Now the estimates for the remainder for the Taylor polynomials show that the Taylor series of f converges uniformly to the zero function on the whole real axis. Nothing is wrong in here. The Taylor series of f converges uniformly to the zero function tf x equals zero. The zero function is analytic and every coefficient in its Taylor series is zero. The function f is infinitely many times differentiable, but not analytic. For any k element of n and r greater than zero, there exists m k r greater than zero such that the remainder term for the kth order Taylor polynomial of f satisfies asterisk and is bounded above for all k and fixed r. Topic: <laughs> Taylor's theorem in complex analysis. Taylor's theorem generalizes to functions f, c, c which are complex differentiable in an open subset U c of the complex plane. However, its usefulness is dwarfed by other general theorems in complex analysis. Namely, stronger versions of related results can be deduced for complex differentiable functions f, u c using Cauchy's integral formula as follows. Let r greater than zero such that the closed disk B Z R S Z R is contained in U. Then Cauchy's integral formula with a positive parametrization gamma t equals z plus right of the circle S Z R with t element of zero two pi gives f z equals one. 2 pi i gamma f w w minus z d w f z equals 1 2 pi I gamma F W W minus Z two D W F K Z equals K two Pi I gamma F W W 
minus Z K plus one D W Display style F Z equals FRAC one two Pi I int underscore Gamma FRAC F W W Z D W quad F Z equals FRAC one two Pi I int underscore Gamma FRAC F W W Z carrot two D W quad L dots quad F carrot K Z equals FRAC K two Pi I int underscore gamma FRAC F W W Z carrot K plus one D W Here all the integrands are continuous on the circle S Z R, which justifies differentiation under the integral sign. In particular, if f is once complex differentiable on the open set U, then it is actually infinitely many times complex differentiable on U. One also obtains the Cauchy's estimates f k z k 2 pi gamma m R W minus Z K plus one D W equals K M R R K M R equals Max W minus C equals R F W Display style F carrot K Z Lexlant F R A C K two Pi int underscore Gamma F R A C M underscore R W Z carrot K plus one D W equals F R A C K M underscore R R carrot K quad M underscore R equals Max underscore W C equals R F W for any z element of u and r greater than zero such that b z r s c r u. These estimates imply that the complex Taylor series T F Z equals K equals zero infinity F K C K Z minus C K Display style T underscore F Z equals sum underscore K equals zero. Carrot in a T F R A C F carrot K C K Z C carrot K of f converges uniformly on any open disk b c r u with s c r u into some function t f furthermore using the contour integral formulae for the derivatives f k c t f z equals k equals 0 infinity z minus c k 2 pi i gamma f w w minus c k plus 1 D W equals one two Pi I 
gamma f w w minus c k equals 0 infinity z minus c w minus c k d w equals 1 2 pi i gamma f w w minus c 1 1 minus z minus c w minus c d w equals 1 2 pi i gamma f w w minus z d w equals f z display style begin aligned t underscore f z and equals sum underscore k equals zero caret in a t frac z c caret k two pi i int underscore gamma frac f W W C carrot K plus one D W and equals FRAC one two Pi I int underscore Gamma FRAC F W W C sum underscore K equals zero carrot in a T left FRAC Z C W C right carrot K D W and equals FRAC one two Pi I int underscore Gamma FRAC F W W C left FRAC one one FRAC Z C W C right D W and equals FRAC one two Pi I int underscore Gamma FRAC F W W Z D W equals F Z end aligned so any complex differentiable function F in an open set U C is in fact complex analytic. All that is said for real analytic functions here holds also for complex analytic functions with the open interval I replaced by an open subset U element of C and a centered intervals a minus R, a plus R replaced by C centered disks B, C, R. In particular, the Taylor expansion holds in the form F Z equals P K Z plus R K Z P K Z equals J equals zero K F J C J Z minus C J Display style F Z equals P underscore K Z plus R underscore K Z quad P underscore K Z equals sum underscore J equals zero carrot K F R A C F carrot J C J Z C carrot J where the remainder term R K is complex analytic. Methods of complex analysis provide some powerful results regarding Taylor expansions. For example, using Cauchy's integral formula for any positively oriented Jordan curve γ which parametrizes the boundary WU of a region WU, one obtains expressions for the derivatives f j c as above, and modifying slightly the computation for tf z equals f z, one arrives at the exact formula r k Z equals J equals K plus one infinity Z 
minus C J two Pi I Gamma F W W minus C J plus one D W equals Z minus C K plus one two Pi I Gamma F W D W W minus C K plus one W minus Z Z element of W Display style R underscore K Z equals sum underscore J equals K plus one carrot in a T F R A C Z C carrot J two Pi I int underscore gamma F R A C F W W C carrot J plus one D W equals F R A C Z C carrot K plus one two Pi I int underscore gamma F F R A C F W D W W C carrot K plus one W Z Q quad Z in W. The important feature here is that the quality of the approximation by a Taylor polynomial on the region W U is dominated by the values of the function f itself on the boundary W U. Similarly, applying Cauchy's estimates to the series expression for the remainder, one obtains the uniform estimates R K Z J equals K plus 1 infinity M R Z Minus C J R J equals M R R K plus one Z minus C K plus one one minus Z minus C R M R beta K plus one one minus beta Z minus C R beta one Display style R underscore K Z Lexlant sum underscore J equals K plus one carrot in a T F R A C M underscore R Z C carrot J R carrot J equals F R A C M underscore R R carrot K plus one F R A C Z C carrot K plus one one F R A C Z C R Lexlant FRAC M underscore R beta carrot K plus one one beta Q quad FRAC ZC R Lexlant beta. Topic Example The function F R R F X equals one one plus X two Display style begin cases F math BF R to Math BF R F X equals F R A C one one plus X carrot two end cases is real analytic, that is, locally determined by its Taylor series. 
This function was plotted above to illustrate the fact that some elementary functions cannot be approximated by Taylor polynomials in neighborhoods of the center of expansion which are too large. This kind of behavior is easily understood in the framework of complex analysis. Namely, the function f extends into a meromorphic function f c infinity c infinity f z equals 1 1 plus z 2 Display style begin cases f math bf c cup in a t to math bf c cup in a t f z equals frac one one plus z caret two end cases on the compactified complex plane. It has simple poles at z topic i and z minus i, and it is analytic elsewhere. Now its Taylor series centered at Z0 converges on any disk B Z0, R with R1 due to the poles at I and I. For the same reason the Taylor series of F centered at 1 converges on B 1, square root 2 and does not converge for any Z element of C with, Z1, greater than square root 2. Topic: Generalizations of Taylor's theorem. Topic: Higher order differentiability. A function f, R n R is differentiable at a element of R n if and only if there exists a linear functional L, R n R, and a function h, R n R, such that f x equals f a plus l x minus a plus h x x minus a lim x a H X equals zero. Display style F bold symbol X equals F bold symbol a plus L bold symbol X bold symbol a plus H bold symbol X bold symbol X bold symbol a Q quad lim underscore bold symbol X to bold symbol a H bold symbol X equals zero. If this is the case, then L equals df a is the uniquely defined differential of f at the point a. Furthermore, then the partial derivatives of f exist at a and the differential of f at a is given by d f a v equals f x 1 a v 1 plus plus f x n a v n Display style df bold symbol a bold symbol v equals frac partial f partial x underscore one bold symbol a v underscore one plus c d o t s plus frac partial f partial x underscore n bold symbol a v underscore n. Introduce the multi-index notation alpha equals alpha 1 plus plus alpha n alpha equals alpha 1 
alpha n x alpha equals x 1 alpha 1 x n alpha n Display style alpha equals alpha underscore one plus C D O T S plus alpha underscore N quad alpha equals alpha underscore one C D O T S alpha underscore N quad bold symbol X carrot alpha equals X underscore one carrot alpha underscore one C D O T S X underscore N carrot alpha underscore N for alpha element of nn and x element of rn if all the kth order partial derivatives of f rn r are continuous at a element of rn then by clairaut's theorem one can change the order of mixed derivatives at a so the notation d alpha f equals alpha f x 1 alpha 1 x n alpha n alpha k Display style D carrot alpha F equals FRAC partial carrot alpha F partial x underscore one carrot alpha underscore one C D O T S partial x underscore N carrot alpha underscore N Q quad alpha L E Q K for the higher order partial derivatives as justified in this situation. The same is true if all the k minus one th order partial derivatives of f exist in some neighborhood of a and are differentiable at a. Then we say that f is k times differentiable at the point a. Topic: <laughs> Taylor's theorem for multivariate functions. multivariate version of taylor's theorem let f r n r be a k times differentiable function at the point a element of r n then there exists h alpha r n r such that f x equals alpha k d alpha f a alpha x minus a alpha plus alpha equals k h alpha x x minus a alpha and lim x a h alpha x equals zero. Display style begin aligned and f bold symbol x equals sum underscore alpha l e q k f r a c d caret alpha f bold symbol a alpha bold symbol x bold symbol a caret alpha plus sum underscore alpha equals k h underscore alpha bold symbol x bold symbol x bold symbol a caret alpha and m box and Quad lim underscore bold symbol x to bold symbol a h underscore alpha bold symbol x equals zero end aligned. If the function f r n r is k plus one times continuously differentiable in the closed ball B, then one can derive an exact formula for the remainder in terms of k plus one th order partial derivatives of f in this neighborhood, namely. F x equals alpha k d alpha f a alpha x 
minus a alpha plus beta equals k plus 1 r beta x x minus a beta R beta x equals beta beta O one one minus T beta minus one D beta F A plus T x minus A D T Display style begin aligned and F bold symbol x equals sum underscore alpha leq k frac d caret alpha f bold symbol a alpha bold symbol x bold symbol a caret alpha plus sum underscore beta equals k plus one r underscore beta bold symbol x bold symbol x bold symbol a caret beta an r underscore Beta bold symbol x equals frac beta beta int underscore zero carrot one one t carrot beta minus one d carrot beta f big bold symbol a plus t bold symbol x bold symbol a big d t end aligned. In this case, due to the continuity of k plus 1 th order partial derivatives in the compact set B, one immediately obtains the uniform estimates R beta x 1 beta max alpha equals beta max Y element of B D alpha F Y X element of B Display style left R underscore beta bold symbol X right LEQ FRAC one beta max underscore alpha equals beta max underscore bold symbol Y in B D carrot alpha F bold symbol Y Q quad bold symbol X in B Topic Example in two dimensions For example, the third order Taylor polynomial of a smooth function f, r2r is, denoting x minus a equals v p 3 x equals f a plus f x 1 a v 1 plus f x 2 a v 2 plus 2 f x 1 2 a V one two two plus two F X one X two A V one V two plus Two F X two two A V two 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 plus three F X one three A V one three three plus three F X 
one two x two a v one two v two two plus three f x one x two two a V one V two 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 plus three F X two three A V two three three Display style begin aligned P underscore three bold symbol X equals F bold symbol A plus and F R A C partial F partial X underscore one bold symbol A V underscore one plus F R A C partial F partial X underscore two bold symbol A V V underscore two plus FRAC partial carrot two F partial X underscore one carrot two bold symbol a FRAC V underscore one carrot two two plus FRAC partial carrot two F partial X underscore one partial X underscore two bold symbol A V underscore one V underscore two plus FRAC partial Carrot two F partial X underscore two carrot two bold symbol a FRAC V underscore two carrot two two and plus FRAC partial carrot three F partial X underscore one carrot three bold symbol a FRAC V underscore one carrot three three plus FRAC partial carrot three F partial X underscore one carrot two Partial x underscore two bold symbol a frac v underscore one carrot two v underscore two two plus frac partial carrot three f partial x underscore one partial x underscore two carrot two bold symbol a frac v underscore one v underscore two carrot two two plus frac partial carrot three f Partial x underscore two carrot three bold symbol a frac v underscore two carrot three three end aligned. Topic proofs. Topic proof for Taylor's theorem in one real variable let H K X equals F X minus P X X minus A K X does not equal a zero X equals a display style H underscore K X equals begin cases F R A C F X P X X A carrot K and X not equals a zero and X equals a end cases where as in the state statement of taylor's theorem p x equals f a plus f a x minus a plus f a 2 x minus a 2 plus plus F K A K X minus A K Display style P X equals F A plus F A X A plus F R A C F A two X A carrot two plus C D O T S plus F R A C F carrot K A K X A carrot K It is sufficient to show that Lim X A H K X equals zero. Display style lim underscore X to A H underscore K X equals zero. The proof here is based on repeated application of L'Hopital's rule. Note that for each j equals zero, one.
K minus one F J A equals P J A Display style F carrot J A equals P carrot J A Hence each of the first K minus one derivatives of the numerator in H K X Display style H underscore K X vanishes at X equals a display style X equals a and the same is true of the denominator also since the condition that the function f be k times differentiable at a point requires differentiability up to order k minus 1 in a neighborhood of said point this is true because differentiability requires a function to be defined in a whole neighborhood of a point the numerator and its k minus 2 derivatives are differentiable in a neighborhood of a Clearly, the denominator also satisfies said condition, and additionally, doesn't vanish unless x equals a, therefore all conditions necessary for L'Hôpital's rule are fulfilled, and its use is justified. So lim x a f x minus p x x minus a k equals lim x a d d x f x minus p x d d x x minus a k equals equals lim x a d k minus 1 d x k minus 1 f x minus p x d k minus 1 d x k minus 1 x minus a k equals 1 k lim x a f k minus 1 x minus p k minus 1 x x minus a equals 1 k f k a minus f k O equals zero. Display style begin aligned lim underscore x to a frac f x p x x a carrot k and equals lim underscore x to a frac frac d d x f x p x frac d d x x a carrot k equals c d o t s equals lim underscore x to a f 
frac frac d caret k1 dx caret k1 fx px frac d caret k1 dx caret k1 xa caret k and equals frac 1 k lim underscore x to a frac f caret k1 x p caret k1 x xa and equals frac 1 k f caret k a f caret k a equals 0 end aligned where the second to last equality follows by the definition of the derivative at x equals a equals topic derivation for the mean value forms of the remainder equals let g be any real valued function continuous on the closed interval between a and x and differentiable with a non-vanishing derivative on the open interval between a and x and define f t equals f t plus f t x minus t plus f t 2 x minus t 2 plus plus f k t k x minus t k Display style f t equals f t plus f t x t plus frac f t two x t caret two plus c d o t s plus frac f caret k t k x t caret k. Then, by Cauchy's mean value theorem, f she g she equals f x minus f a g x minus g a Display style asterisk quad frac f she g she equals frac f x f a g x g a for some she on the open interval between a and x. Note that here the numerator f x minus f a equals r k x is exactly the remainder of the Taylor polynomial for f x. Compute f t equals f t plus f t x minus t minus f t plus f three t Two x minus t two minus f two t one x minus t plus plus f k plus 1 T K X minus T K minus F K T K
minus one x minus t k minus one equals f k plus one t k x minus t k display style begin aligned f t equals an f t plus big f t x t f t big plus left f r a c f caret three t two x t caret two f r a c f caret two t one x T right plus C D O T S and C D O T S plus left F R A C F carrot K plus one T K X T carrot K F R A C F carrot K T K one X T carrot K one right equals F R A C F carrot K plus one T K X T carrot K end aligned plug it into Asterisk and rearrange terms to find that R K X equals F K plus one she K X minus she K G X minus G A G she Display style R underscore K X equals F R A C F carrot K plus one she K X she carrot K F R A C G X G A G she This is the form of the remainder term mentioned after the actual statement of Taylor's theorem with remainder in the mean value form. The Lagrange form of the remainder is found by choosing G T equals T minus X K plus one display style G T equals T X carrot K plus one and the Cauchy form by choosing G T equals T minus a display style G T equals T A remark. Using this method one can also recover the integral form of the remainder by choosing G T equals A T F K plus one S K X minus S K D S Display style G T equals int underscore a carrot T F R A C F carrot K plus one S K X S carrot K D S but the requirements for f needed for the use of mean value theorem are too strong if one aims to prove the claim in the case that f k is only absolutely continuous however if one uses riemann integral instead of lebesgue integral the assumptions cannot be weakened topic <laughs> derivation for the integral form of the remainder Due to absolute continuity of f k on the closed interval between a and x, its derivative f k plus one exists as an L one function, and we can use fundamental theorem of calculus and integration by parts. This same proof applies for the Riemann integral, assuming that f k is continuous on the closed interval and differentiable on the open interval between a and x, and this leads to the same result than using the mean value theorem. The fundamental theorem of calculus states that f x equals f a plus a x f t d 
T Display style F x equals F A plus int underscore a carrot x F T D T now we can integrate by parts and use the fundamental theorem of calculus again to see that f x equals f a plus x f x minus a f a minus a x t f t d t equals f a plus x f a plus a x F T D T minus A F A minus A X T F T D T equals F A plus X minus A F A plus A X X minus T F T D T display style begin aligned F X and equals F A plus big X F X A F a big int underscore a carrot X T F T D T and equals F A plus X left F A plus int underscore a carrot x f t d t right a f a int underscore a carrot x t f t d t and equals f a plus x a f a plus int underscore a carrot x x t f t d t and aligned, which is exactly Taylor's theorem with remainder in the integral form in the case k equals one. The general statement is proved using induction. Suppose that f x equals f a plus f a one x minus a plus plus f K A K X minus A K plus A X F K plus one T K X minus T K D T Display style asterisk quad f x equals f a plus frac f a one x a plus c d o t s plus frac f caret k a k x a caret k plus int underscore a caret x frac f caret k plus one t k x t caret k d t Integrating the remainder term by parts, we arrive at a x f k plus one t k x minus t k d t equals Minus F K plus one T K plus one K X minus T K plus one A X plus A X F 
K plus two T K plus one K X minus T K plus one D T equals F K plus one A K plus one X minus A K plus one plus A X F K plus two T K plus one X minus T K plus one D T Display style begin aligned int underscore a carrot X F R A C F carrot K plus one T K X T carrot K D T equals and left F R A C F carrot K plus one T K plus one K X T carrot K plus one right underscore a carrot X plus int underscore a carrot X FRAC F carrot K plus two T K plus one K X T carrot K plus one D T equals an FRAC F carrot K plus one A K plus one X A carrot K plus one plus int underscore a Carrot x frac f carrot k plus two t k plus one x t carrot k plus one d t end aligned substituting this into the formula in asterisk shows that if it holds for the value k, it must also hold for the value k plus one. Therefore, since it holds for k equals one, it must hold for every positive integer k equals topic derivation for the remainder of multivariate taylor polynomials topic we prove the special case where f r n r has continuous partial derivatives up to the order k plus one in some closed ball B with center A. The strategy of the proof is to apply the one variable case of Taylor's theorem to the restriction of f to the line segment adjoining x and a. Parametrize the line segment between a and x by u t. A plus T X minus A. We apply the one variable version of Taylor's theorem to the function G T equals F U T F X equals G one equals G zero plus J equals 1 k 1 j g j 0 plus 0 1 1 minus t k k g K plus one T D T Display style F Math BF X equals G one equals G zero plus sum underscore J equals one carrot K F R A C one J G carrot J zero plus int underscore zero carrot one F R A C one T carrot K K G carrot K plus one T D T Applying the chain rule for several variables gives G J T equals D J D T 
J F U T equals D J D T J F A plus T X minus A equals alpha equals J J alpha D alpha F A plus T X minus A X minus O alpha display style begin aligned G carrot J T and equals F R A C D carrot J D T carrot J F U T equals F R A C D carrot J D T carrot J F Math B F O plus T Math B F X Math B F O and equals Sum underscore alpha equals J left begin matrix J alpha end matrix right D carrot alpha F Math BF a plus T Math BF X Math BF a Math BF X Math BF a carrot alpha end aligned where J alpha display style left begin matrix J alpha end matrix right is the multinomial coefficient since one J J alpha equals one alpha display style frac one J left begin matrix J alpha and matrix right equals frac one alpha we get f X equals F A plus one alpha K one alpha D alpha F A X minus Alpha plus alpha equals K plus one K plus one alpha X minus a alpha zero one one Minus T K D alpha F A plus T X minus A D T Display style F Math BF X equals F Math BF a plus sum underscore one LEQ alpha LEQ K FRAC one alpha D carrot alpha F Math BF a Math BF X Math BF a carrot alpha plus sum underscore alpha equals K plus one FRAC K plus one alpha Math BF X Math BF a carrot alpha int underscore zero carrot one one T carrot K D carrot alpha F Math BF a plus T Math BF X Math BF a D T Topic See also Laurent series Pade approximant Newton series equals equals footnotes <laughs>